Uh, I believe I have the replay now. Indeed I do. <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, another, ratch, uh, another match from the round of uh, 16 of the GosuGamers.net Gosu Cup number one. A PvP on Neo Beltway. Here we go. In the bottom left, as the purple Prodos, we have Sass Lockdog, aka Disakwe. And in the bottom right, as the teal Prodos, we have Ifu's Paul Mall, who uh, uh, beat uh, Zero in the last round, and of course has kind of made a name for himself a little bit by all killing LRM. Uh, but let's see how his PvP here is uh, in this matchup. Did I say... Okay, Lockdog is purple. Alright. And Palmol will be P5. Anyway, it looks like neither of them is doing anything silly, so... Uh, just piloting in their mains. <coughs> Uh, now, Dasakwe, uh, actually, I believe, I believe he actually closed, actually, wait, maybe I shouldn't spoil, maybe I shouldn't spoil, uh, the IC Cup Clan League Finals that was yesterday, but anyway, um, in, okay, what, what else can I say? Ah, he did play in the ISL 2, where he actually got knocked out by, uh, Plumum, I believe. Was it Plumum? It was some random Zerg, I think he got knocked out by Plumum. Uh, yeah, so I, it was, I think it was like round of 32-ish, but either way, he's pretty good Protoss. And we'll be scouting in the wrong direction, unfortunately for him. Palmol is going to scout in the correct direction, both players scouting after Gateway, which is fine, that's pretty normal. Uh, it looks like Lockdog's gas is just a touch ahead of Palmol's. <clears throat> and... Nothing out of the ordinary just yet. I'm trying to think of interesting things about this map. For example, Templar drops behind here would be quite delicious. Uh, but other than that, looks like uh, Lockdog is going to change. Is going to uh, is going to scout cross map now with this probe, uh, given that he he sees the early scout from his opponent, um, knows it's most likely not cross map. Uh, I think in theory, if you know if Palmol had been top right and scouted. Uh, had done a, like a pylon scout, it would be a similar timing, but well, maybe not actually, because I mean, locked basically, Lockdog's scouting probe gets to the top left as soon as Paul Malls gets to his base, so he's probably probably pretty sure about the timing there. Unfortunately for him, though, the Zelt's going to be blocking on the ramp. I don't think that's actually blocking, though. No, it actually is. It looks like a lot of space there on the left side, but. Uh, uh, Lampshade, what's... How, wh wait, how is... How do you pronounce L-O-K differently? L-O-K is lock. How else do you say it? I actually don't know another way to pronounce lock. Lok? Lok dog? Could be Lok dog. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Or I could just call him Sakwe. Because Sakwe sounds awesome. I don't know why he changed his name. Uh, 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 probe running around. He's got, he's supply blocked here. Okay, he's building a pylon. And, okay, we are going to have range. Uh, but that's going to get scouted. One Zealot's actually going to chase his probe all the way out there. There's a second one blocking the ramp. And, uh, range also for Palm All. So, identical builds so far? Uh, yeah. Nothing particularly interesting. <clears throat> oh, we have a robo going down to the front, and we have absolutely nothing from Paul Mall. Uh, so this positioning is is, uh, is decent. I mean, basically it's very close to the ramp, so you know, you can make an emergency reaver and just walk it to the ramp, and it'll be there to defend uh, any kind of bust attempt. Uh, what is what is Palmol doing? Is he actually just going to one gate expand? 
It looks like that's what he's doing. Uh, I think it... No, he actually is going to get a Robo, but it's extremely slow. I don't know what he was waiting for. That's uh, that's quite strange. And Oh, no, he's actually going to let the probe into his base. Is he going to let the probe in? Oh, the probe! Robo! Oh, man, lucky miss on the, uh, on the ramp. Both goons fluffing their second shots. And the probe gets right in here. It's going to see nothing at all out of the ordinary. Now, he might be a little bit concerned about the late Robo. I don't know why Palmol has so much money in the bank. His build just seems really, really slow and, and inefficient compared to, to Lock Dogs. Loke Dogs, I guess. But, uh... Anyway, Shuttle is on the way. Looks like one goon just poking out in the front. Gonna take out any scouting probes. Palmol feels like he can go and attack. He's got two Zelda to three goons against two Zelda to three goons, so it's not really gonna do anything. Um, Lockdog going straight for the Robo, he knows there's no danger of DTs, he doesn't need to get the Observatory first. And look at this! Palmol! Palmol actually has to go for Observatory because even though he got the scout in- Wait a minute, I thought he actually saw the Robo with that scout, was I- Uh, maybe he didn't actually. But either way, I think, uh, I think the Sockway, Lokdog, is in a very nice position as long as he doesn't just die. Which he shouldn't. Uh, looks like he actually kind of baited, tried to bait Palmol up the ramp there. But I think I think Palmol should have seen that. No, he is making an observer. I did he not see this when he poked up there? Hmm, curious, 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 curious. Uh, anyway, I mean it's basically identical builds except that Loke Dog went for Obs first and did it slower. So I guess it's not actually identical builds. So just ignore me because I'm terrible. And I thought that was a shuttle, so he's just waiting for the Reaver now. So let's see how his uh, Reaver harasses. Now there's a nice uh, spotting pylon here on the left side. Might want it a touch lower there. Let's actually see how far the vision goes. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. I might have made it a little bit further on the edge just to give me, you know, an extra half a second of warning uh, of any shuttle that was trying to enter my base. So he's got the support bay already, but no. Uh, shuttle Ah, because he is in fact making a Nexus, so this is actually going to be just defensive Reavers. Uh, he's not going to make Shuttle, he's just going to rally the Reavers here and just defend this uh, fast expansion. But it looks like uh, the Sakwe is actually going to do a push with the Shuttle and also expand. So his expansion is just a little bit later than Paul Mall's, but he does have the uh, advantage of the Shuttle. Um, which will of course allow him to do to either just push with the Reaver or do uh, some Reaver Harass. I think Harass would be the better option. I don't think he has enough units to actually push this. And look at this, Palmo actually going, uh, just moving out here. Going to try and do get a nice uh, flank here. And it looks like, how is the Reaver control? How is the Goon control? It looks like Lockdog, the Sockway, is going to uh, get the upper hand in this battle. And the AI Pylon at the front is going to go down. This Reaver, he's got to be a little bit very careful though. There's a Reaver out now for Palmol. It's got to work its way down the ramp. Looks like we do have an engagement. Oh, a huge Reaver shot. I think that it hit the Reaver and oh no! Lockdog's Reaver does go down, so Palmol will hold right here. And is he even going to get the shuttle? Looks like he will get the shuttle. The Sockway, not paying attention, going to lose his shuttle as well. So that should be the end of that aggression. Even the reinforcement Reaver will not uh, be over there anytime soon. Uh, so Palmol has held his faster expansion without taking uh, too, too much damage, and I think he's in good shape right now. Despite what I thought was a very inefficient build. Um, well, I mean, he, he showed us what's up in that battle. I think, although, I think at the end there, that was a mistake by Tsakwe to not pick up the Reaver. He lost the Reaver to a Reaver shot. That generally should not happen. So two Reavers out now for Paul Mall. He's absolutely safe. Um, the Sockway's expansion is up, but... Uh, I mean, he lost his shuttle and reaver. And his expansion was later. Almost sending out a probe scout now. Just gonna see what's up. Um, he's gonna get taken down by these goons, but should assume that there's an expansion there. Wow, he's actually in a chill there. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh, can he get it? Yes, he will get it. Uh, and of course, there's a. Uh, spotting pylon here for the Sockway to see any Reavers going to his base. Um, four gateways up now for uh, for Palmol. And there's the fourth gateway going up for the Sockway as well. Are either of them getting a shuttle speed? No, it looks like not. So, not going to do any uh, continued crazy shuttle harass. Just going to add some gateways and tech up as normal. Looks like uh, the Sockway is thinking about taking 
I don't know if this is to take a fast third or if he's just going to scout for hidden bases. Uh, but look at this! Palmol actually sending out a probe at exactly the same time, although it looks like his intentions are, are quite clear. He's just going to take the 3 o'clock base. Whereas Lock Dog, Lok Dog is going to do something. I don't know, but we might have a big engagement here. Uh, Palmol thinks he can engage. He's got two Reavers in the shuttle. How good is his Reaver, Maiko? I mean, I think there's more goons for Lok Dog, but oh man, one of the Reavers does go down. It's going to be close, but there's two Reavers left, and oh man, what is this Reaver doing? He does get the shot off. It looks like he does go down, so Lok Dog left with the Reavers, but Palmol left with the Dragoons, and it looks like Palmol is going to take out all the Dragoons. Can he take out this Reaver? There's one more Dragoon in the back there. Lokdog's gonna have to micro this Reaver for his life. Can he get save it? He does save it. I don't think he got the shot off though. He needs to unload it again. He does get it out and pick it up. He does get it. Oh, Devo, Devo. Uh, it looks like Lokdog with some pretty good Reaver control right there is gonna barely survive. He's gonna he's gonna pump out from four gateways to reinforce, but it's gonna be really close. Oh man, that was dangerous. Oh, he's gonna lose the Reaver without getting the shot off. But the reinforcement goons, are they gonna be enough? I don't know. Palmol unrallying, not rallying one of his gateways though, a bit of a mistake, it looks like he did find it. And Lokdog is barely going to survive I think just due to the shorter reinforcement route, he also has the Reavers coming out as well. So I think he will be fine here. Yeah, both players losing all their goons, but Palmol is not done yet, he's actually just sending all of his Dragoons to that base, and it looks like a... Uh, wait, Palmol just mannered his own base, that's actually Palmol's pylon, if you look on the minimap, that's Teal. I thought Lok Dog actually mattered that Nexus, but in fact it was uh, Paul Maul's own pylon. He's adding on a 5th and 6th gateway. He does have a Citadel as well. Um, looks like 5th and 6th gateway going down as well for Lok Dog. So both players just playing, and a Citadel as well, so <laughs> playing uh, very similarly. Just, I, just very, very similar builds, unit compositions, decision making. But actually... Looks like uh, Lok Dog has a slight supply lead, 74 against 80 right now. Um, and looks like some Zelts are being produced. No leg speed just yet. Uh, although the, he should. Actually, does he have it already? No, he doesn't. He should be getting leg speed. Uh, speed Zelts are pretty good against Goons. Um, and yeah, look at this. Lok Dog immediately getting his leg speed bunch of Zelts as well. So as I said, both players mirroring each other. One probe running in here, gonna see no expansion there just yet. And, like, this is mattering his own Nexus, right? It looks like he has no intention of actually expanding there, though. So, Lok Dog's Dragoon is actually gonna clear Palmol's own manor pylon, which is quite funny. Um, wait a minute, does he have no more Reavers? Oh, it looks like he has actually one Reaver against two now. Uh, Lok Dog being the 2. 97 supply against 90. Pylon Square going down. Man, look at this random building placement. This is just not very organized at all. Don't like this. Fortunately for him, the main base is like huge on this map, so he can afford to do that. Uh, or rather, not afford to, but it doesn't really hurt him. 7 gateways against 6 gateways. But uh, Lok Dog looks like he is going to try and uh, expand here to the 9. He's got an OBS, he's probably going to do a loop here along the top side and just scout all of the bases. Uh, meanwhile, no probe going out for Paul Mall, so it uh, looks like he has no intention of actually taking this 3 o'clock.